Right, we've got ARK Ghori. All right. Oh, assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Tullah barakatuh. Muftisab. How are you? I'm good. Ghori Sahib, where are you joining us can, from? Can you remember my name? You've said you've played, I think, a thousand times a meme on my name. On on your name? Yeah, oh, yeah. Ghori. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> exactly. You. Yeah. Even before he passed away, you used to play it. And then I used to show my mom. And I was like, uh, you know, that Khalid Rizvi, my, my dad used to, you know, cut the shit out of Khalid Rizvi, rahmatullah alayhi, may Allah have mercy. But yeah, yeah, my Allah have mercy. So how are wow. you? Man? I'm good. Where, where are you joining us from? By the way? I'm from Germany, yeah. Germany, wow. Yeah, yeah I'm All from right. Germany. So, um, right. yeah, it is really funny because I'm actually following your live stream, I think, every week since years. And uh, I've always um, wanted to come on the show, but somehow I never like like um, got the chance to come on. And then, of course, maybe, you're... Maybe this yeah. whole thing is designed just to arrive at this very moment for you. Exactly. And then and today, <laughs> and, to, and today I had a really bad day. I just I just woke up in the middle of the night and I saw that you're on and I put it on and I saw the link and I'm like, let's just click on it. And it actually worked like, you know, it's well, kind of, you uh, know what? Well, tomorrow is another day and it will be, inshallah, I'm sure spectacular and amazing inshallah. if inshallah. today, even if today was a little down. Hotai, yeah, chal hai. You know, yeah, some chal days. Hai. What does he chal say? He says, uh, uh, Lambi hai gham ki sham, magar shami to hai. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big fan of John Hilly as well, actually. So, uh, oh, yeah, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Mufti Sab, I have uh, the funny thing is why I'm I have been following you since years is because sure. um, we have uh, although I don't do not know you privately and do, you do not know me, I believe we have a very similar approach in our Islamic lives. I think sure. because um, you know I've uh, in in just a few words. I've grown up in Germany. I raised, born and raised in Germany, and uh, I started doing hifs. I finished at the age of eleven at that time. Oh. Uh, yeah, and then I went to England to study Islam. So I did in oh, a madrasa. England. Yeah, yeah. So I wow. did my alim course in a madrasa over there. Alim so, course. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So when I, I so after, so when I finished, I went to Medina and Mecca to Umul Qura and Jamil Islamia. And oh, wow, you've been to Umul Qura. Wow, you're just full of surprises. I'm <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Each, yeah. Well, you're just topping, been... you're topping each thing. You don't even know how to do it. You don't even know how to do it. You don't even know how to do it. It's like, obviously, there's... Uh... You know, when I, when I found you, I told people, let's go and see it. <laughs> you know, so, yeah, I swear, when I found you, I was like, thank God there is someone. And I'm like, this guy even wears earrings. I don't know where wear them. <laughs> well, I, well, I've stopped wearing them. Yeah, yeah, uh, I, I noticed that. I, I, I occasionally I'll put it on. Well, I have seen all the relationships that I have seen. Look, Mufti Sahib has left the earrings. Now you have to listen to them. You know what? Because... Masla yetake, if I'm speaking, people are just being distracted or hearing, hearing, hearing. Exactly, I want them to exactly. hear what I'm saying. So it doesn't matter. I'll put it, I'll put, take it off. Uh, yeah, Acha. So you were saying, I'm not the yeah. only one. There's, you know, there's a, a verse of the of the Quran that the Malikia use mm. uh, when they say that if a person is, let's say a person has a is a particular criminal or he's something, uh, he's been convicted for something. He can't be a witness for somebody of the same uh, crime. So let's say exactly. uh, theft. Like if a person was uh, he'd been convicted for theft, mm. he can't testify for theft. Mm. And they said they used this verse of the Quran that mm. that today mm -hmm. in the afterlife it won't help you that you're in it together. Wow. They said that this means in the dunya. It did used to mean something to you when somebody else is in it with you. <laughs> so when you used to say, you know, when you say, "Yar, sir, me me thori ghum ra hu." Inko dekhi hai yahan But yeah, it was uh, it was you know um, my views also like yours like they have changed a lot you know uh, because I went through 
different patterns in my life. And um, I remember there were a few things, like even in my studies in London, of course, like you, I do respect my Asatiza. You know, they've done, at the end of the day, the madrasa has taught us a lot as well. You know, so wow. the people who taught, taught us Quran and Hadith, we will never look down upon them, you know. They had good intentions. But of no, course, no. like you said, you do not come out of the institution. And somehow you realize that. I remember there was one incident in Madrasa. I think it was, I was in Arbisom or something, you know, and yeah, or wow. in something like that. And I remember I was sitting there and the hadith came up that, um, I think it uh, was in Bukhari that Aisha radiallahu anha treated, um, th there was a man who came with like uh, quite good clothes and stuff and she invited mm -hmm. him in and gave him some food, this and that, and served him. And then when he went away, another day passed and there was a, a beggar or something who came in and she gave him some th something on the door and uh, gave that to him and said bye to him or something. And I asked myself, I went to the teacher and I asked him, I'm like, but I find that to be injustice. And he said, why? And I said, how can she give the poor man just something and tell him to go not in a bad way but what and the other one she told him to come in and that i remember he refused to answer my question and i was not just i was not taking it you know and then i was disrespectful <laughs> i won't be having it i'm like how can that be i'm like because it's not anyone it's aisha right and the same thing with the age i, I was just not biting it i was like i'm not i, I can't believe this and I used to say the same thing all over again. They used to be like, Han likin, ye to Nabi Park. And I'm like, Likin, that's the thing, ye to Nabi Park, you know, it can't be. So, you know, all that, those things and stuff. So, with time, Alhamdulillah, you know, I evolved and evolved and um, uh, I changed in a lot of things my perspective, researched and stuff. Wow. And then when I found you, I was like, thank God I'm not the only one. Who has these kind of dalail in his mind, you know, for some things? Oh. It was a relief, yeah. alhamdulillah, to see you. And it was yeah, really man. like about it's... the beard, everything, you know? Yeah. It was. Uh... A, um, I'm really, honestly, I'm really glad to even hear all of this and to learn of your journey. I think this, this your whole journey and this interaction, we have to make a show out of this. <laughs> on its own. Right, it so. Really, it's, it's unbelievable because, you know, we, we have. You and me, you probably didn't do it as desperate as me, but I have been on incidents. Mufti Sahib, I was invited to a wedding in London from a former Mufti Sahib. Maybe you even know him, but I'm not going to take his name. So I was invited, and my beard was quite short. Now, Mufti Sahib, you won't believe what I did. I went there only because he told me, and he was insisting so much that I had to go there. Now, because I knew all the other ones are ulama, and... They're going to say I'm Gumrah because I have a short beard. But by God, I actually went there. And I. this is like eight years ago. And I okay. bought a beard. What do you mean you bought a beard? Oh, it here. How, how, do, how do you buy a beard? What is that? Yeah, like you have to go beard? to the... Like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I plucked <laughs> it here. So it looks a bit... And I went to a makeup artist so they can, you know. And I was like... <laughs> And today, I swear <laughs> out. <laughs> and today, and today, I, when I think about it, I don't tell anyone because I'm so embarrassed. I'm like, what the? But then again, Mufisab, how sad. It, you have to yeah. actually remember, remember how desperate do I have to be to do that? Yeah. Spending sad, money yeah, that is to, to actually just like, I'm not going to see these people ever again on that wedding. But just mm -hmm. to be like, I'm not Gumrah. Just to yeah. prove that I'm not Gumba. <laughs> so it's like uh, unbelievable. What, what is it you do? What is it you do now in Germany, if you don't mind me asking? Is it anything linked to the uh, Islamic yeah, stuff? I, or? Yeah, I used to. I used to do. Alhamdulillah, a lot of talks. I, I okay. was a Khatib at our. Yeah, I used to like um, do the Juma every week, and uh, okay. you know, do the Khutbah in German. And I've sure. uh, done Alhamdulillah through the whole of Germany and uh, Austria and Switzerland. I've done a lot of talks. Uh, I was even in some, um, you know, I did it, I did this a long time. I, I've done like personal mistakes, uh, of course, uh, in my life as well, which uh, which lead you to w what happens is I think you, better. No one knows better than you that sometimes 
what you come to know is that it is not allowed for a uh, alim to do mistakes the way normal people do because we uh, people see us as role models so when you stand there and give a talk you're not allowed to maybe date a girl you're not allowed because you are the light yeah, you are you see, uh, for them. yeah and so that, what that I is used... actually was ha- what happened to me in one verse I okay. did my mistakes I did my uh, sins and I seek forgiveness from Allah no, but what I, and what people I would s- took me down <laughs> no what I would say to people is that look be you know look be very as close be as human as you possibly can in your whatever your kind of role is this tender this kind of whatever you're doing be as uh, as it as transparent or as close to transparency and truth as you can so for example if you let's say somebody i'm just saying if you are somebody and this isn't you but i'm just saying this let's say you are a molana who smokes weed and mm. does some other drugs let's say or smokes weed yeah don't be going around dedicating sections and fatawa and all this to the discussion of weed and yeah. telling people <laughs> you're going to go to hell course, if you're smoking weed don't do that because that course, is then hypocritical yeah if course. somebody asks you about weed you i would assume and this is not you you this is that you i would assume would be actually in a compassionate position to advise that look even though islam let's say you're of the view let's say most people are of the view it's haram i don't feel it's i feel it's not yeah. it's mm-hmm. discouraged but maybe not yeah. haram but let's say mm-hmm. pe- people are of the view it's haram so they could say look even though islam says this is haram a lot of people have co- got caught up in it let's all make dua for them uh you know and just be like as close to okay maybe you don't want to maybe the person doesn't want to say oh, by the way i mm-hmm. smoke weed but try to be as close to being real like okay think that damn you know i it is a bad thing because th- remember these people believe it's haram so mm. they're thinking look actually i'm doing something which is wrong but okay they they don't need to go and i'm not saying start having this confession thing but just be real just say that maybe be compassionate say yeah you know what this is a problem and damn and you know it's like just raise the concerns be real don't so if a person that's what i'm saying where people are the problem is the stark hypocrisy mm. when a person starts preaching about being just purely angelic mm-hmm. look any kind of look if you're a molana sab you're already held to a higher standard of ethics here exactly. so now people will uh create a big deal like they will create a big deal every time they see you let's say smoking a cigarette now most ulama don't feel cigarette is haram mm. but if you start smoking a cigarette oh, people say oh my god look molana zab ja rahe hain cigarette you know look at this is is doing this so people will do that anyway a normal person they wouldn't care so obviously th- these things are even with people are held to a higher uh the other thing is that nobody's going to be perfect so they're not saints but when they start drawing this picture of saying oh my god you're going to you know what if you take interest you're going to go to hell but then he's got his own house on let's say this is where the problems come in because yeah. this is what makes it worse yes people will do drama anyway look people you know if they catch you smoking a cigarette now that that's not even harm they'll do drama over that you know i remember um you know me i i used to be very openly that look i'm not you know being uh, this kind of sanctimonious i'm not trying to be pious in fact i used to say that i'm not a pious person but i remember once um, a few years back somebody <laughs> had a fall out with me at the time may allah may allah bless him i mean <laughs> you know ameen. bless his heart i mean <laughs> you know uh but chalo ho jata hai na that you know people it happens you know i don't hold no kind of Uh, don't be no kind of grudges the the thing is at the time he'd had some fallout and he shared some jokes of of a whatsapp where i had some audio recordings and I, in the audio recording i'm swearing as well so it's in urdu and i i'm just saying you know ban b b b whatever mm-hmm. and i'm saying so and it's and i'm laughing as well but so he decides to share this as a uh, yeah, becomes, yeah yeah i know i know i know, yeah, I know. So this becomes yeah. like 
this becomes drama because, oh my God, you know, he is a Mufti who's swearing. And you think, well, yeah. obviously everybody swears. Yeah. And I, and I, I've never said that I don't swear, but obviously there's propriety. I wouldn't swear like with, in front of children. I wouldn't swear like on uh, whilst I'm being recorded. I wouldn't do this stuff. It's, that was a private voice. Now it wasn't like yeah, it's, it's but anyway, to make you make you look that way. Of course, people. So people will do drama anyway, even though I had a fatwa saying that look, swearing in and of itself is not haram. Causing harm is haram. Mm. So when I swear at you. To harm you, that is haram. Just use it like if somebody just said, ah, oh, you know, what's the effing time? What what effing day is it? Like this, this isn't like at anyone. Just using swears is not haram. It may not be encouraged, it may not be a nice thing, but it's not haram. Yeah. So even though I've got that fatwa saying this, and I'm saying, look, I'm not pious, it's still made sensational news that, mm -hmm. oh my god here's this mufti swear so people will theatricize it and dramatize it anyway but even then imagine i had been preaching to people don't swear mm. if you swear you're going to hell and then i'm swearing mm. this is what makes it worse mm. this kind of hypocrisy yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the funny thing is uh <laughs> you know i have a i have a fatwa i always say be, you know, as you said, swearing when it comes becomes um it's like wala uh, you know. Yeah, yeah. So it's like if uf becomes a word which is used for other things, it's not uf, you know. So it's yeah, like yeah. Uh, I always yeah, yeah. say I always say yeah, exactly. that ban that, that ban word is so normal in that Punjabi language that is actually considered as nothing. <laughs> yeah, no, you know? even yeah, exactly. And the point is that, look, certain words, it's in a cultural setting. Like, so obviously, in a certain context, to certain people, swearing is normal. Depends what kind of swearing. Obviously, they we have, you know, adab, propriety. Of like, course, people don't yeah. swear in front of their parents. Yeah. I would never swear in front of my parents, even now. Of course, I, I of might course. swear in front of friends, but I wouldn't swear, like, in front of my kids. I wouldn't sure. swear in front of... Uh, I, I think once actually, uh, I, I think once Zozo, my little one, heard me say, she's like, oh, Ooh. she's like, you said the F word. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh, uh, no, I'm sure I was saying something. No, no, no. You <laughs> no, like, look, it's a, it's a, <laughs> you are you are an easier target. That's the thing, because you are uh, even online and everything. Like, for example, that own, it makes me it made me so angry. Musa, you won't believe maybe it made me more angry than you that time of, of uh, although it's your picture. You know, when they made that Sunni defense or some bullshit video against you and they had your your picture with like golden chains and that thing and that uh we and i looked at it and i was like uh, and they said islam according to abu Layth, and i was like you really think he's gonna out go, gonna out go out that way every day and it's gonna look like that of course he's not but the thing is no, no, that, they just no, that made wasn't, no that wasn't my real i mean it was my real i know i know of course i know they edit really. yeah i know i know hmm. but they're gonna they edited it and i was like look what you you're trying to tell people that this man is going around and doing drugs and what the hell do you know about his private life? You know, so it's just you know like what? they take. But in the funny, what, in the funny look, what what I say is that look, you know what, people honestly are. I I guess we all are, as in San, the journey that we are all hurting, and some more than others. And you yeah. know, now when I see these people, I see hurting souls. And honestly, wallahi, and I, you know, may Allah heal them. I mean, may Allah give them I mean, solace. I mean. May He kind of cure people because, you know, I do get it. Look, you know, with time, I did say this on one of my videos a few weeks back. I said there was a time where, if you asked me, I would have said that I can't. I don't believe any of these people uh, are sincere or blah 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 blah. I said that, you know what? But in hindsight. I, I kind of correct myself. I actually do believe now that I don't know about in everything, but in many things, these people in their own way may be very sincere, but mm. it's just that it's a misplaced love. Like, you know, you said earlier on about the Molana Saab, he wants this fistful beard. Yeah. yeah? 
because it's the sunnah of the Prophet. Yeah. Now, this is his excessive love oh, for love. the Prophet, exactly. let's say. And that's highly admirable. And we think, wow, you know, like the person loves the prophets that much. But, but don't push it, it becomes, on others. It becomes misplaced. Like mm. what you do is you start looking down on other people that don't have it. Like you think, you know what, that's now this is where one could almost say the devil has the better of him. That, you know, you've mm -hmm. taken a nice act and you've, it's like taking charity. You're going to help someone, but you look down on them. Oh, yeah, look at yeah, you. You've yeah. ruined it. You've ruined everything. In exactly, fact, exactly, exactly. you shouldn't have even done it. Yeah. So that's... And as you said, as you said, you can show your excessive love. That's absolutely okay. Absolutely. But don't shove it up on others. You know. So yeah. because um, I, I read, a, I remember I was reading a book and uh, it said, but and he, he that old uh, wise guy, he, he he had so much love for Allah, so much love for Allah that he never used to wear black socks. I was like, <laughs> and then it said. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? <laughs> I think I missed a whole season there. <laughs> so, <you> know, <laughs> that, so that's you confused know. even the angels. They're like, "Yeah, yeah." No, he never used shari? to. He never used to wear black socks because the uh, uh, the color of the Kaaba is black. Although the stones oh. of Kaaba are not black, but you know the kapra of Kaaba is the you know, the cloth the is, black. Yeah, is black. So black. But uh, I'm like, okay, nice see, I for would you. Never have, I would never have clocked that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's got yeah. like all the, he's made the link from the... <laughs> you know, oh, oh, I, I remember Hamari, yeah, Maulana Sabu, the, 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 the local imam, and I went to him and uh, they had hats and uh, there was a guy who um, gave charity, as a charity, he gave a lot of hats and he was from Indonesia. And you know, some sometimes our indo Pak or even the Arabs, they look, they don't take Malaysian Muslims, Indonesian Muslims seriously because they think they don't exist. Although the Indonesia is the biggest Islamic country in the world, but they because, don't you like. Because when they look at them, one, they don't have big beards because <laughs> those bichari don't have any hair. <laughs> exactly. You know, so, there was, when I was yeah. studying in Madrasa, there was this Thai guy with us. There was a lot of Thai students. Mm, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, Benori Town, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 There's a lot of yeah. Thai students. And there was this one guy who just had this one hair. And and one thing, they don't they don't seem to age. Like you, <laughs> if you guess their age, they'll be like 40 something and they look like they're tw just 20 or 22. Mm. They look because so he just had this one hair, right? <laughs> and it fell out one day. <laughs> I, I was so, he was so heartbroken. Uh, I was thinking, yar, you know what? Ye le lo, yar, ye le lo. Take mujhe, it from me. Mujhe, <laughs> mujhe uska, uska number de, I'll, I'll give him the, the, the um, I'll give him the contact of the shop in London I went to for the wedding. <laughs> yeah. Put my beard on. So yeah. it's like, uh, it's, it's yeah, they, they, they have been, they look up, down upon them. So they, he brought a, a full of like a lot of hats. They were out of straw. So, okay. um, take these hats and, you know, uh, give them to people who come to pray namaz and salah and everything. So the Imam Sab said, okay. So they didn't say anything to his face. Everyone was like, Jazakallah, Jazakallah. So he went and then Imam Sab was like, no, don't put them out. And I, people were like, why? And he said, no, they're out of straw. It's makru to wear them. And I was like, okay. I looked at him and I wasn't, and I, uh, you okay. know, I didn't do my course then. And I was like, why did he say that? The guy borrowed it out of love. It's a topi. It's okay. So yeah. he said, Naya Makrua, because you wouldn't wear that uh, in front of your president, in, in front of a president as well. So why are you wearing in front of, in front of Allah in Salah? A straw head. Who would do that? And, you know, <laughs> and, and then. See, now, now that's the good. You see, now, actually, you see, that's another fine example instantiated where it's actually a good thing. Like the value is good, but it's misplaced. Exactly. Because the, the value is saying, look, you should venerate God. Yeah. Which is true. And that's like an incredible value. But then you're saying, look. Oh my God! It's it's as though you're saying Allah is going to say, "What the hell have you come here dressed like a tramp?" <laughs> you know, this is like, but that doesn't make any sense because Allah, <laughs> obviously, whether you're naked or clothed, yeah, you know, it doesn't make any sense to God. Yeah. And I remember at that time I stood there, although I didn't study and stuff, but I was like, my common sense. I remember there was a premiere of Johnny Depp of some film, and he was wearing a straw hat of of Gucci. 
And I said that to the Molana, I said that, I didn't say Johnny Depp, but I, but I said, Lekin agar me 500 euro ka straw hat, you know, I would take a straw hat out of, for, for like 500 euros from a designer, like, would you say the same? And he looked at me and he's like, Inshallah, baad me baad kar. <laughs> so it's I mean, like uh, it's uh, you know it's uh, it oh, wow. I was just yeah. seeing some of these break. I'll just come to that. But yeah, yeah. Hori, uh, yeah. Molana Saab, you know what? It's been epic. Uh, you know, are you drop me a message on Instagram and I would, we'll connect I would love as well. To. Okay, so I would drop love me to. a message. And what is that? Abdurrahman is it? A R. Yeah, Abdurrahman. Abdurrahman, epic. So drop me a message and we'll connect. Barakallahu feek. It was really a pleasure. Yeah, I've been, it's, it's in absolute. three years, I've been waiting for that. <laughs> no, it's Barakallahu much. Well, it's, it's been awesome. May Allah bless you. People, uh, that was Maulana uh, Abdurrahman Ghori from Germany. All right. I see.